channel it's your local internet auntie auntie Ren here again with another video as you know if you read the uh, title of the video this is going to be another bag of the week so rounding out my bag of the week series I may keep this going I don't know you tell me guys if it's something that you're into um, I kind of like it it's kind of fun I'm kind of forced to use some pieces in my collection if you don't know for the month of October I was on Ban Island and whilst on Ban Island I forced myself to use bags in my collection that I don't have all the time to use or like have not been reaching for very often due to the current state of the world and the uh, lack of anywhere to go and uh, it was a way to kind of appreciate what I have kind of look for holes in my collection and things that I was like man I wish I had to create some wish lists to get ready for the holidays and to just give myself a little bit of a break so I put myself on Ban Island after my birthday to kind of recollect um, and so hence this series kind of blossomed of bag of the week so I don't know maybe I'll keep it going if you like to say anything in the comments comment down below if you want me to keep bag of the week going uh, I might just keep it going and if not maybe we'll fade it out or what have you but we continue so I think this is like the, the fourth one I think that I've done and I will uh, lick uh, I will lick that's terrible I'm not licking anything <laughs> I will link it up in the icons, um, <laughs> the playlist if I can, um, of the bags of the week uh, that I've done already. So you can go straight to that series if you're interested in seeing more of my collection. So if you're here and you went through all of that and you have not subscribed yet, please do <laughs> consider subscribing, consider following me on Instagram. Um, yeah, and commenting below if you like the bag of the week or if you don't like it or what have you. And uh, yeah, and thumbs up this video. And yeah, so let's get going. Okay, so my bag of the week is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 Bandelier, so a Speedy B35 um, in the monogram print. Uh, I do have a couple of speedies so i do have the damier ibin um in a 30 size without the bandelier and i have the uh, damier azur in the 30 size with the bandelier so i do have a trifecta of speedies but not all in the same size so they are different sizes i've been playing around with the idea of getting the smaller one uh the little baby size one uh what is that the nano speedy nano i think it's called um or possibly the 25 because that's not something i have in my collection and i have been carrying less things lately this bag is full because i have been using it this week so it is filled up with what i've been using this week but on the norm since you know lockdown post pandemic kind of going back into lockdown semi lockdown whatever's going on right now wherever you are um <laughs> uh it's uh you know i've been gravitating more towards carrying less because i'm not going out as often or if i am going out i'm going out just very quickly um so i, I am playing with the idea of getting a smaller one because i do like the speedy i love the the silhouette of this i think this is so classic this is literally the bag that i fell in love with um and and you know kind of made me fall in love with louis vuitton so this was my first love um oh <laughs> shameless plug i also have a tag video going on <laughs> shameless plug i have a tag video going on it's called first luxury loves um so and this was actually the bag that uh i fell in love with first and made me fall in love with louis vuitton and luxury handbags and kind of you know propelled me into this um addiction that i have this uh this uh yeah this world that i'm in now um so yeah so this is one of my first loves i think it's absolutely classic it's a forever bag i love the silhouette i love the story behind it you know there's you know 
just a lot of history in it it's super super classic for me and it's just like you know the epitome of you know luxury for me i think it's just you know really just just quite glamorous and classic so this is the speedy b35 i did buy this pre-loved um at the time when i purchased this um and even now actually the speedy 35 speedy b35 is uh, relatively on the expensive side i remember a time when it was a little bit lower um and then you can get a speedy for like under a thousand i don't know what it is now but i'll put it up on the screen somewhere either here or here i'll put it up on the screen what they're currently going for what the current um prices are for these but at the time um you know i got this i was like oh, okay it's a little bit pricey a little bit you know um out of my range to get it for price at the time so i said okay you know what i started searching the pre-loved market for it and i was able to get this in one of my facebook groups and I was get, be able to get this for under a thousand uh, US dollars so and it's in really good condition it has patinaed lovely I have conditioned an apple guarded uh, this bag and I'll try to get some close-ups in for you guys I do have a um, base shaper or, or organizer in it as of right now I don't normally I don't always uh, carry an organizer because I don't mind the sag sometimes because it flattens it out and has the bag lay a little bit flatter to my body and I'll also pop in some mod shots of me wearing it and when I have the organizer in it juts away from my body I am hippie I'm a curvaceous plus size girl just for reference five seven and a half I'm about a size 16 18 US and weigh about 240 uh, pounds um, so it does you know and I'm bottom heavy so it does you know bow out against the the hips a little bit um, and so that you know is not a look that I always want especially if I'm wearing it casually if I'm you know a little bit more dolled up and I'm you know I'm trying to serve you a vibe and a look I'll, I'll usually put, I'll usually put the organizer inside but if I'm doing this a little bit more casual and I'm running around you know doing some errands running around with the kids going to get coffee or something like that and I have something like some things to do like a couple stops to make I actually like it when it sags because then this whole bottom that whole bottom part kind of bows down and makes the bag um, a little bit more spacious and I can fit some more things in here like I can fit my laptop in here my 13 inch MacBook Air does fit in here but without the organizer organizer not with the organizer because when the organizer's in there it just it doesn't do it um but yeah so we're gonna go and do into it and do a little bit of a what's in my bag but I just wanted to give you some specs of um what it looks like from the outside and kind of you know give you some close-up so i will get close up i'll do some close-up shots for you this is a made in france piece so this is a louis vuitton paris made in france um piece it is um pre some of the upgrades so it does not have the um puffed up chaps so my chaps are flat on mine which again i'm completely fine with um i do like the look of the puff chaps but i have the puff chap look on my um damier bean so i'm not lacking or like missing it in any way um my 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 scissors my zippers run i can't speak today guys my zippers run really smooth um they're still quite gold um when i did buy this the first time i did polish um all of the gold all of the hardware i did polish it out um i've got a couple of little loose threads at the end but again that does not bother me um i knew this was a bag that i wanted in my collection i was you know i knew exactly what i wanted i did not want this in the 30 i want it in the 35 i am a bigger girl and i like the way the bigger size looks on me sometimes the 30 can look a little small on me just on my frame so i don't mind this i know big bags aren't quite as in however i'm obsessed with this and uh yeah so we'll just take a quick quick peek inside and uh, when you have a speedy, um, a speedy 30 or 35, this one does have a pocket on the inside. Um, I think the newer ones do have a zipper, the newer style or the newer years or what have you. Um, this does not. So this is an older model. Again, that's okay. I spent under $1,000 for this. So, you know, unfortunately, those are some of the things that you sacrifice um so i was just looking to see if i can find the date code quickly the date code is du2102 which means that this bag was made the 20th week of 2012 so um it's about eight years old then right yeah so it's like an eight year old bag i think it still looks really good for eight years old i mean 
I don't have any corner wear. Obviously, it's patinaed, but it's patinaed to this beautiful honey. I do condition it and um, and apple guard it probably about once a year. I'll do it. Um, and I, I just think it's held up so great. I do have a luggage tag on here that I also got from one of my Facebook groups. Um, and then I took it in to the store and got it hot stamped with uh, my last uh, name, initial and, um, and a heart. And so, yeah, so let's take a peek inside. But yeah, so the pocket does not have a zipper. Okay, so what do I have first and foremost? So I have pochette accessoire. I mean, really, like, if you've seen any of these series, then you know that this is, you know, clutch. I always have at least one sometimes two <laughs> depending on the size of the bag in here in one of my bags and then what's in here is my hand sanitizing spray this is dr bronner lavender organic hand sanitizing spray i've got um mine which i am wearing today uh this is the outrageous plump effect sephora lip gloss i have that in here um i have my key pouch uh in domia Ibeen. And I do like to do that sometimes. So if I'm carrying a monogram bag, I will carry a Domier Ebene uh, pochette and then vice versa. I don't know why, it's just something that I like to do. Um, so, and then in here, I just have some cash, my um, car key fob, you know, medical card and some coins, nothing exciting in there. Um, then I have my round coin purse. Again, these are all like, top five SLGs and I use this as a tech wallet so it carries all my cords that I need to recharge any devices that I'm carrying um, I have my six uh, ring key holder in the Damier graphite so this is it and in the back here I have my driver's license and like your debit card and I think uh, a metro card like to get on the metro um, let's see I have some lip products because, well, I've always got some lip products. So I've got, um, you know, the weather has changed here in New York, so it is cold now. So I do have my Bite Beauty Agave Intensive Lip Mask. I do carry that around um, to put under my lipstick or whatever lip products I'm wearing, just to make sure that you keep your lips moisturized and all that underneath, uh, you know, underneath your lipsticks. Um, this is new. Uh, this is the My Son Francis Curtijan uh, Amaris. Um, so this was a sample that I got um, and I'll link the video either in the iCards or below of uh, my little mini haul that I got for my anniversary. My husband and I got the um, My Son Francis uh, Curtijan Baccarat Rouge. 540 perfume that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot um baccarat, baccarat five rouge 540 perfume um and uh yeah and this is one of the samples that they gave you when when they sang uh it off and i really liked it i like it it's something great to smell and spray to freshen up it's very lovely um quite floral and sweet and pretty um i also have my glass nail file i don't think i've ever shown you guys what it looks like um so i just took it out of the case because that's the case that it's in and it's a glass nail file from sephora like a traveling one i have a larger one and then i have the travel one these are great if you have natural nails to file your nails but also seal them off in case they like i don't know like they snag a little bit on the sides or edges or what have you um yeah and then of course my new favorite thing to have in here is my Chanel mirror, uh, double mirror, um, which I got for my birthday. Also hauled this in a previous video. I don't want to flash you guys, but it's, it's lovely. I mean, it's just the best. Oh yes, honey. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just the best. I absolutely love this. Um, it's so clear, it's so crisp. It has two uh, sides to it. So one is a little bit more magnifying than the other. Clutch, it's the best thing ever. Like I actually have people now asking to use my mirror. Like when I'm out, they're like, do you have your mirror with you? You know, it's fantastic. Um, I don't have my mask in here this time guys, because I, I, I did take it out. I took it off as I walked in um, the house, but it's over by the door. So I don't have it in here. So what else do I have? Then I have my Louis Vuitton uh, GM size planner. This is very, very old vintage. Gosh, I got this in a 
consignment or like thrift store here in the city like ages ago I want to say maybe like 10 years ago so it's super duper old um, I have been doing a lot of running around um, this week and I've had meetings and so on so I've been using this to take you know to take notes and so on and it's just been like I mean it used to be my planner but um, I switched out and now I just have like you know like note paper just taking some notes um, you know little cards little inspirational you know words um, you know some pens back here like extra pens to carry I, I think I need to get one of those pencil cases I think Louis Vuitton has them and they even have it in that holiday collection with the ones, the ones I've painted with all of the Vivian things for the Christmas but I don't think I would get that one because I'm scared that it would chip and get destroyed but I think I need to invest in a pencil case because I'll show you in a second what else I'm carrying in here today um what I've been carrying this week actually has been this 24 um fine line drawing pens so as you know i'm getting into planners and getting into um or if you don't know <laughs> i got an erin condren planner which is in here and i'm getting into doing the planning thing and like you know budgeting and you know writing everything down it's really quite therapeutic actually um and you know i've got all these really cool fine point pens in all these different colors from Amazon and it's just um, they're so great I love them I love the way they write they can also do some little drawing and squiggling in and so on I really like these but carrying around this big case um, is a bit you know I don't know it's a bit much right but I like how I can see all of them whereas if it was in a pencil case I was scared that if it's in a pencil case I won't be able to find certain colors or I would use more colors than others because I wouldn't be able to see them all so that's why I kind of keep it in this so I can see all of the colors um, lined up there um, so yeah but I've been loving using this in my planner and here is the planner um, my Erin Condren uh, planner and this I've been using to just kind of you know keep myself on schedule uh, you know when it comes to filming my YouTube videos like I said my life is you know uh, my life has picked up a bit and getting a little bit more busy um, and I want to still you know stay you know engaged and I want to still um, you know do YouTube videos because as you guys know this is a passion project for me and um, this is my hobby this is something I really really love doing um, so I want to kind of stay on schedule so even if uh, I don't know if you noticed but if you look in the planner it says I uh, hope you can see it it says double x lux on it so this has kind of been you know the planner dedicated to my channel and to kind of just you know doing this whole bit so this uh has been really great in just keeping me organized keeping me accountable um you know just kind of like setting out you know my my filming schedule what i'm going to wear in a video like i mean all of my little obsessive in intricacies as a virgo is just loving the planner so i'm obsessed and i've been doing a great job with this um what else do we have in here i have my wallet as you know this is my louis vuitton card case i use this as my wallet basically i don't carry a full-size wallet because i just don't need to so it's just cards in there basically once in a while i'll put some cash in there but ultimately this is it um, and it's just an easy grab and go and i love the fact that it also fits inside my pochette accessoire so that's you know one of the reasons why i stick with the small um the small card case okay and then i have my um etui lunette which is my sunny's case again nothing new here most times uh guys i am wearing my glasses so when i'm filming i'm wearing my contacts but most times in my real life i'm wearing my glasses and so when i step outside usually it's sunny or what have you i'll put on my sunnies you know or what have you whether it be my prescription sunnies or this ones or other ones that I have I'll switch them out and put on my sunnies and then I put my prescription glasses in here so they're protected this is also a piece that I got pre-loved absolutely loving this this has been help holding up so well like such a great investment in my collection I wish I would have gotten this sooner I mean this is literally like in every single bag it's one of those pieces you didn't know you needed until you got it and then you get it and you're like why didn't I have this always like what was I thinking like I should have always had this that's how I feel about my um, toy lunette 
Um, and then last but not least is my LV body butter. Haven't seen it in a while. Uh, she's been living on my dresser or on my nightstand. I don't know why. I took it out of my bag. I think one of my kids wanted to use it or something. And then it, it never made it. It never made it back in the bag. Um, and I'm like struggling when I was outside, you know. And every time you have to go somewhere, you have to sanitize your hands. And the alcohol and so on that they use to in the hand sanitizers can be very stripping to your hands. So this has been. Oh, so good it's so good guys i will link this company down below in the description box it's called lv um it's like so good best body butter like ever it's black woman owned business um she's got like great prices it's not like it's super duper expensive i have girls night out but i also really love the smell goal getter it's g-o-a-l Goal Getter, um, oh my God, those are my favorites. So Goal Getter and Girls Night Out um, are my favorite. I've also um, used in the past, oh, she has one that's called, I think, Dubai. And there's one called Social Butterfly. I've used those, I've bought these for my husband, I've bought these for my parents. Like This is like, get your life, especially going into winter. Yes, you need a body butter, get that. It's so good, it's so good. So as I mentioned before, um, I do have an organizer in here. Um, I don't know how to feel about organizers, honestly. I go back and forth about them. Um, but I have this one in here. I had actually got this to go into my Monstery GM uh, backpack um, to help to keep the shape in the bottom and it didn't quite work. So I never used it in there. Um, it's got some fuzzies on it. Um, I got this one from Amazon. It's not, you know, the best. Like, this is not a Samorga or anything like that. I did not want to invest in a Samorga uh, organizer until I knew for sure if the organizer would even be my jam, like if I would like it, you know, or what have you. So I will buy like an inexpensive version of something um, to try it out first before investing the money and the time because apparently for Samorga, you have to kind of wait a bit for it to finally be delivered to you since it's coming uh, from so far or what have you. So you, it does, from what I heard, it does take a bit of time for shipping. So I did get this from Amazon. It did come with um some inserts i took those out because it was just unnecessary the uh speedy 35 even though the opening is uh, quite larger than what you get in uh 30 or in the 25 this is still a, a larger opening it's still a difficult opening to navigate to look for things um that's just the nature of this silhouette of this bag so you're not going to you know have just like the best accessibility so if you've got too many pockets or too many insects going in here it's the same kind of complication so i like the one big opening and it keeps the bags form it keeps the shape what i was telling you before is that if you wear this without when you wear this without the uh organizer or insert inside the bag kind of does this you see so it kind of does that on your body right and it makes it kind of long and it changes the vibe of the bag it automatically gets a little bit more casual automatically gets a little bit more boho a little bit more like boho chic and then you just you can pop more stuff in it so i can put my laptop in here no problem put my ipad in there no problem and it kind of like just flattens against the body and it becomes a great shopper like a great bag to shop with and to run errands with i can wear this cross body the settings on the strap i do have all three pieces on right now um, just to show you how long it can get but in most cases I'm only wearing it this long if I'm wearing it crossbody if I'm wearing it crossbody and I wear it just flat to my body like this and this is you know we're getting on the metro we're running errands we're dropping the kids off to school we're running to get a coffee we are going to you know return something at Zara hmm. you know things like <laughs> things like that and I can stuff my return in my bag and when I get there I pull it out you know whatever so it's a great like little like almost like a satchel kind of bag when you're running around and doing errands um you know if you want to wear it like that but once you put the organizer in it or the insert in it it automatically gives it a different shape and it becomes like a more proper more posh you know upper east side kind of bag you know it just changes the whole vibe for me so i like the insert i just don't know if i always 
if I always want it or not. I don't know. Comment down below and let me go. Let me know, guys, um, how you feel about like those organizers and are you investing in the expensive ones? Are you alright with the some um, the, the Amazon, you know, type ones? Are you getting the Samorgas and the Zoomonies or Zoomoni or whatever it is? I don't know if I need to invest in that. So as of right now, this has been doing me just fine. It's not the prettiest, but it's functional, you know. So um anyway but yeah so i don't mind a little bit of slouch and i also don't mind um and i don't mind if it's a little bit structured it just depends on what vibe i'm going for um but when i store this i do store it full of air paper and then um i do put it well sometimes not always sometimes i'll have it in a dust bag sometimes i don't sometimes i have it in the dust bag but the dust bag is open so it'll be around the body of the bag but like the the top of the dust bag is a drawstring and it will just stay open um so it really just depends um but i don't store it flat so you know when they have it when you get a speedy they they send it to you and they like fold it up i don't i don't fold it like that ever it's always in um some kind of shape so and which i think helps because this tends to curl these edges here tend to curl up you'll see it i think on this side a little bit more they tend to curl in and kind of hide the vaquetta um but if you store it um you know filled with like a pillow or air paper or towels or what have you it tends to not um curl as much over time but it, it does want to naturally curl on itself but um yeah i absolutely adore this bag guys i would like i would wear this literally you can wear this bag if you're 19 18 17 16 years old even depending on the size maybe not this size but maybe the smaller one um all the way up until you know gosh forever like you're, you could be an 80 year old lady 90 year old lady wearing this and it will still rock like it will still jam it still hits i absolutely love it it's a classic in my collection let me know comment down below are you still digging the speedy has it gone too basic for you or you're not in love with it anymore does it just not do it for you or is it one of those ah you just gotta love it <laughs> let me know comment down below but that's pretty much it again i'll make sure to put some mod shots in i'll make sure to put some um pics of everything that fit in it so you have an idea of what fit in my bag and i'm loving wearing this this week don't forget guys i do have a tag video going on right now my first luxury loves tag feel free to do it if i did not tag you i'm so sorry um for whatever reason i think there was a limit i think at the time when i was started putting in all the names i think i was maxing out my characters in my description box but if i did not tag you please do it if i did tag you please tag me so i know you did it um and uh yeah and i am also still hosting a giveaway the giveaway ends i believe it's october 2nd i will link the video that leads you to the giveaway down below and in the icons um so you can go ahead and enter the giveaway um and i am doing one giveaway per month until the end of the year so october's giveaway is still going on and it ends i said it ends october 22nd that's wrong it ends november 22nd i believe um so yeah <laughs> i said october it get it ends november 22nd Twenty second. Um, so yeah, and then I'll announce the November one and then the December one. So anyway, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Nieces, nephews, fellow aunties. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.